And let's remember to support Commissioner Dan Ryan too. Um, he's gone through some very scary stuff and wounds like this take hot time to heal. Portland City Commissioner-elect Mingus Maps showing support for fellow Commissioner Dan Ryan and he brought friends. More than two dozen local black leaders from the faith community to business owners and even Trailblazers great UFP coach Terry Porter all united in support for Commissioner Ryan. We're issuing a challenge to every Portlander to reject hate and violence. From all of us, Dan, just know that you have our support and we are very proud of the convictions that you have shown in the city council. Their support comes the night after protesters went to Commissioner Ryan's home. There, they smashed a window, potted plants, threw paint on his house and lit flares in his driveway. Earlier that day, Ryan, Commissioner Amanda Fritz, and Mayor Ted Wheeler all voted against a proposal to cut $18 million from the Portland Police Bureau. The proposal failed. Many considered Ryan, who's new to the council, the swing vote. Police say protesters had visited Ryan's home four times this week. And when we disagree, we've got to learn how to disagree without falling out. Pastor Matt Hennessy condemned the criminal acts against Ryan as retaliation and intimidation devoid of civility and love. He had a message for those responsible. You're not going to make us hate you. You're not going to make us do anything but feel sorry that that is the way that you handle your situation when you don't get what you want. Commissioner Ryan wasn't home during Thursday's attack, but saw the latest damage the next morning. He spoke with Laurel Porter about what it's been like. It's been difficult to look at it. I think it says very little about the big picture of Portland. It says, it says a lot about a small group of people that are taking it upon themselves to ignite more stress yeah, during a very, very difficult time. The group Ryan is referencing and their actions weigh heavy on these leaders and have for months. On Wednesday night, police declared yet another riot when protesters smashed windows downtown, some of the few that weren't already boarded up. Ron Herndon, director of Albina Head Start, is tired of it. We have primarily white people committing crimes and saying they're doing it under the banner of Black Lives Matter. This criminal activity has nothing to do with black people. My feeling is that those who commit those acts should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Instead of breaking the law, Hennessy says it would be great if those behind the violence would just be willing to talk. Let us have a conversation. Let us understand where you are and where we are. In the meantime, Commissioner Maps says they're all here for Ryan and anyone else who's been intimidated or bullied during an already difficult time. There's only one vaccine against hate, and that is love. Catherine Cook, KGW News.